And trust me guys, not for even one second would I want to do that either, but when it comes to having a music career, being able to make money with your music, be able to build a following, be able to do it as a, as a, as a full-time thing, you're going to have to. You're going to have to look at yourself in the mirror and understand that. What's going on guys? Adam Ivey, SellMusic.com, here to help you go further, faster in your music career by sharing proven marketing techniques and strategies to help you transform that passion for making music and turn it into a legitimate business that's going to provide you with freedom and fulfillment two of the most important things in life in general. Now, obviously this is not my normal setup. I'm actually in Las Vegas, Nevada right now to do a little bit of work, a little bit of play, a little bit of a uh, getaway, I guess. Uh, and as you could tell, I'm in my hotel room. I have a makeshift set up here, the little gorilla pods on a chair, and I have my little light over here that I'm not gonna touch because I don't want the lighting to change. Anyway, you make do with what you have, uh, and we're gonna do that. So in this video, I have to address something that I'm getting time and time again. Now, I know I say that all the time, but this is something that's been an ongoing issue, uh, actually kind of an epidemic with not only the people that follow me, my channel family, but people that wanna do music, wanna be an entrepreneur, wanna be a YouTuber in general, and everything in between. Now, what am I talking about? Well, I'm talking about the, the epidemic of lack of confidence, the lack of security within yourself, the lack of passion for doing things for you and not for others. Now, this is something that I need to talk to you about because I know a lot of you, probably the majority of you, have dealt with this in one way, shape, or form, including my coaching students in the past. And this is something that I see uh, holding so many people back from doing great things in their life because they're looking for permission. They are doing permission-based uh, job hunts, permission-based uh, dating, permission-based uh, brand building, business building. Now, when it comes to that, you're always going to fail because when you're looking for permission from other people to validate what you're doing, it's going to detoxify the waters of your true creative genius. And what do I mean by that? Well, when you're making music, when you're making beats, when you're writing songs, when you're doing videos just like this, if you start wondering what other people are gonna think, if you start wondering uh, you know, how many hate comments you're gonna get, or if some of your family members aren't gonna understand or be supportive of what you're doing, that's naturally going to kind of put you back in the shell and it's not gonna allow you to make your greatest work. Now, I say that because I have that from experience. You know, I've been told by family members that trying to do music full time was a delusional, uh, what was it? A delusional pipe dream, essentially. Um, you know, shout out to, you know who, uh, if you're watching this video. Anyway, long story short, people aren't gonna understand what you're doing. Now, I say that in different YouTube videos, so why is this video different? Well, I think that mental health is something that we overlook, right? We kind of just gloss over because everybody's going through shit, right? Oh, it's not easy for anybody. It's easy to get depressed. It's easy to self-doubt. It is absolutely easy. But when you put so much weight on your own shoulders to make this work, that you're literally going out and quitting a job, you're selling everything you have to buy gear uh, to make music or to have recording time in the studio or to hire somebody to shoot a music video for you or buy a camera set up like I have, you know, Sorry. At the end of the day, if you don't do it for yourself, if you can't dig deep and find the self-confidence within yourself, that means your shit's broken. And whether you go see a therapist, whether you go see a psychologist, a, a psychiatrist, uh, I believe that's, that's um, if you have to have meds and that's fine, you need to see someone. Because at the end of the day, a lot of those mental boundaries, a lot of those mental obstacles, or uh, what do you want to call it, those mental uh, roadblocks, are from other shit in your life that has nothing to do with the music that you make. Some people have an inferiority complex. No matter how good they are, they don't feel like they're good enough. They feel like somebody else is going to take their spot. They feel like an imposter, no matter how many other people tell them that they're good. Now, I used to deal with this on YouTube quite a bit when I would have 100, 200, 300, 500,000 positive comments, and then I'd get that one troll that would just know how to get to right get right through the bone, right? Get get right to me and really affect me in a negative way. And it used to bother me. It used to keep me up at night. Uh, and there was a couple comments in there over the years that almost had me at the verge of tears, to be completely transparent with you guys. Now, this is the thing. I don't have the answers for your in particular uh, situation, right? But there are a few things that are kind of generalized that I think would help you. First and foremost, you have to try to break down where the problem started. If you have, let's say, 25 songs and you haven't released anything, why haven't you released the songs yet? Now, I know a lot of people suffer from perfectionism, uh, which is a BS uh, excuse-making excuse mechanism within you 
to say that, oh, I'm just, I'm gonna make this a little bit better, a little bit better. But ultimately, a lot of times, and I can't speak for everyone, but a lot of times perfectionism is just the shield, just the mask, just the costume to hide you from the lack of confidence that you have within what you're doing, right? It needs, it can be better, it can be better. Of course it can be better, dipshit. You just need to keep making music and putting out more music rapidly, not rapidly, but consistently, rather, and by osmosis, by practice, by repetition, it's going to get better. If I start making pizzas tomorrow, and I've never really made a pizza by hand to the level of, you know, a professional, it's going to be shit. The first one's going to be garbage, right? It might be okay, it might be tolerable, I might enjoy it in some weird way, but at the end of the day, if I make a pizza every single day for three months, six months, nine years, you best believe it that I'm going to be able to make a really, really good pizza after all that repetition, especially if I care about what I'm doing to the point where I'm tweaking it. Now, when you're making music, when you're trying to build your brand, I know a lot of people that are afraid to put photos up of themselves. They're very camera shy. And you know, if you guys followed my journey, you can go back nine, 10 years and see the shitty videos that I did when I started. Uh, and this one's probably in the mix when it comes to shitty quality. But at the end of the day, you just have to put yourself out there. Putting yourself out there, and, and, and being vulnerable is like more than 80, 90% of people are gonna do. So that's an unfair advantage if you just kind of get over it and do it. It's how bad you feel about yourself, how much self-doubt you have, how low self-esteem you have, versus how bad do you really want those dreams that you're telling yourself that you want. Now, if you're a rapper, if you're a producer, why are you a producer? Why are you a rapper? Why do you want to become those things? No different than wanting to be a CEO of a big company someday or a car salesman or a postal worker. Why would you want to do that, right? And if you don't have a distinct why, if you don't have a profound answer for that, you really gotta kinda go back to the drawing board and say, why am I doing this? Is it for approval from people I went to high school with? Is it from approval from a girl that you might like or a guy that you might like or transgender, gender fluid individual? I don't judge. At the end of the day, guys, you really have to look and say, why am I holding myself back? And if you're listening to that self-doubt, if you're listening to that version of yourself more than the confidence side of things, you gotta, gotta figure out the ratio. Now, even to this day, even right now, as I'm making this video, in the back of my mind, I'm like, I hope people in actually engage with this. I hope people actually resonate with what I'm saying. And a lot of my videos are just like this, because at the end of the day, I don't know. And I just have to go based off of how I feel and trust the process. Now, when you're making music, how do you feel? I wanna know in the comments below, I'm not done yet, but I wanna know in the comments below if this is something that you deal with. So many times I see people getting distracted, people changing route a bunch of times. They get incredibly, uh, what do you wanna call it, discouraged the second that something doesn't go their way. They'll release a song or a single or a beat or a piece of artwork or a, fo a photo, whatever, and if it doesn't get the engagement that their preconceived notion of its, of its worth received. So what I mean by that is if I had a video and I'm like, you know what, this is gonna get 5,000 views by tomorrow, I know it, it's awesome, people need to see it, it's, oh, it's just so great. And then in two days, it's up to like 400 views. You understand how that's all self-imposed. So many of us as music creators, we run off ego, right? We run off this preconceived notion of what our worth is but a lot of times that ego is just to mask that self-doubt. That ego is just to mask that, that vulnerability that we're all so afraid to share. You know, I, I cried multiple times when I was dead broke, not able to sell my music. I'd work on music for days on end and I'd put it up and once in a while it just became so heavy on my shoulders that I had to let it out, man. And there's nothing wrong with that. Now, do I cry now? I'm kind of emotionless, I'm kind of like a robot. I'm just, just kidding but at the end of the day you get over it and you kind of work through it if you want to self-improve right there's two different types of things there's like self-help books which help you get through things and then there's self-development help will kind of band-aid it development will get you through it so I always encourage everybody to develop what they're doing develop their skills develop their confidence develop their their well-being health wise financial wise it's not just a one-dimensional thing, right? Music is, is a transference of emotion. Music is, is a way to you know, connect with people of all different ages, sexes, genders, cultural backgrounds. And that's powerful stuff, man. You know, the weight of the world could be on your shoulders when you really want to do this full time. And I can speak from experience. So I want you guys to know that you don't have to be perfect when you're putting out music. It's all one big grand experiment. 
Look at artists such as Lady Gaga, what she started with versus who she is today. If she waited to be who she is today, she would have never became that person. Now, I know that that might sound deep or philosophical or whatever, but it, it's really true. Now, you know, you guys have to stop making excuses. You guys have to stop holding yourself back because all those little things that you pick apart from greasy skin to a pimple to not being tall enough to uh, maybe having a little bit imperfect smile in your opinion. You know, I've had braces twice. That's how self-conscious I was when I was growing up. And still to this day, I'm like, I brush my teeth two or three times a day, but they still could be whiter. Gotta go get some white strips, right? We all have these different things that we wanna break down about ourselves. But at the end of the day, I've put up some videos just not giving a shit and looking back at them and being like, oh God, I should have did this, or I, the lighting was bad, or oh, I shouldn't have edited that, I should have edited that out, or whatever. And those are some of my most popular videos because the end, at the end of the day, the world doesn't see your imperfections like you see them. The world doesn't know what you're capable of. They're only able to process what you've put out. So you have to be able to share it with them, man. You know, at the end of the day, mental health, happiness, fulfillment, and purpose in what you're doing is more important than actually what you're doing. It's, it's the feeling that you get within the, the action. It's the feel, feeling that you get within the process. You know, at the end of the day, you, you leave a legacy with a couple great smash hit songs? No. You leave a legacy based on who you are as a person and what you did with that success or what you did to get through the adversity. Trust me, guys, it's a process. You're never going to just magically end up there. I'm 34 years old. I don't hide that. I've been doing this stuff for 13, 14 years now. I'm not to where I want to be, but I'm a whole lot further than where I started. I hope, I hope that made sense to you guys. Now, in order to boost up your confidence a little bit, in order to get you on track mentally a little bit, I think that this video right here is actually going to help you. So I would recommend clicking that. Now, if you haven't joined the channel family yet, I highly recommend doing it, even from the hotel room, by clicking that little button and smashing that bell icon. I'd love for you to connect with me over on Instagram in the comments section. And as always, all my contact information will be in the description box below.